Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our uh, Discovery commercial and then take you for a ride in it. First, I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a Land Rover Discovery 4 3 litre SD V6 commercial XS. It's 2014 on a 14 plate and has done 102,000 miles. I probably shouldn't have told you it had done 102,000 miles first because if I hadn't, you would never have guessed. The car is like brand new. I say car, this is a van, a commercial. It's like absolutely brand new inside and out. It's a credit to its previous owner. The fuel economy. Urban is 32.5. Extra urban, 37.2. Combined, 35.3. So very good fuel economy as well there. It's uh, got a top speed of 112 miles per hour. Uh, I've seen a couple of varying figures for the 0 to 60 time. One says 8.8 .8 and the other says 11.7. So I'm not sure which one it is. Um, anyway, it's, it's one of those two. The engine has 255 brake horsepower and it's a 24 valve. Road tax for this is pretty good too. Bearing in mind if you bought a, a Discovery that, that wasn't a commercial, it would probably be £550 per year road tax. This is only 260 for 12 months with being a commercial, and six months is 143. It's a Euro 5 diesel engine and it's MOT'd until the 30th of 7, 2020. Before I show you around it, I'll just uh, let you have a look under the bonnet. As I say, 102,000 miles and uh, it's it's absolutely it's mint everywhere now I'll, I'll try and get in it without standing in this quagmire too late there you go it's absolutely like new underneath <laughs> you you could eat your dinner off that uh, off that engine. Okay, I'll show you around it. So we've got Xenon headlamps, high pressure headlamp wash, front parking sensors. Uh, here we've got the plastic wheel arch protectors, multi-spoke alloy wheels. The the car, the, I keep saying car. The vehicle is sat on. Goodyear Wrangler tyres all round. At the bottom here, I should have brought my wellies. You've got the door protectors there and then the sill protectors, the roof bars, rear privacy glass, and I suppose you've got side opening doors at both sides here. Um, there's a, that looks like a normal window and then it's got a partition inside. So, rear privacy glass again. Rear wash wipe, just there, reversing camera. Again, when you consider it is a commercial, it's got an absolutely fantastic specification. Reversing sensors in the bumper, and we've got a removable tow bar there, again, that comes in handy. It's a split tailgate, like so, little button there. And that's kind of strong enough to sit on, and you get sheltered here. In the back, we've got this really heavy duty mat underneath is like new and then we've got the uh, the bulkhead mesh guard whatever to, to stop stuff moving forward and clouting you on the back of the head when you break suddenly a again all the back really really nice condition there power socket in there and uh, it's it's what a fantastic vehicle this is it's so handy I mean if you if you're a farmer and you need to be taking stuff out to your, your whatever you keep in fields, sheep, cows, whatever, then, then this is the place you're going to get there. That's the uh, keyless go key. Foot on the brake. Click start. First thing first, heated seat. And heated screen. Sorry, that was uh, just my 
audio box starting to play which uh, I'll just show you here so audio video so there you go that's that's uh, audio streaming through the through the system here we've got sat nav so this is a van and I, I, I quite often I, I say that um, you know I, I could uh, I could use these certain vans that I could use every day and not be bothered about normally I'm referring to transit vans and things like that but this I could use every day um, just let me sorry the service history now it's fully I say it's stamped up even Land Rover I, I mean I, I can't see farmers going for digital service history um, it's just unbelievable but here we go I'll, I'll cut it in later but it's all uh, serviced up to date we've had to redact everybody uh, by everybody that we've had to redact the one owner but this service invoices as well which is always good to see um, as I say uh, digital service history not worth the paper it's written on so I'll cut the service history in but it's got a full service from Hatfield's um, Land Rover and uh, I've worked for Hatfields in the past and, and I can say that when I worked for them they were a very very good company very uh, forward thinking and progressive so there we go we've got the front centre armrest here we've got this mesh bulkhead let's see height and reach adjustable steering wheel just get that in the right place but it does have if we switch on the headlamps and then squirt this it's got high pressure headlamp wash um, actually I'll, I'll leave the headlights on so the rotary gear selector that I like as well uh, it's got an electric handbrake which I suppose you can't have everything and then you've got your four-wheel drive controls there but uh, it's uh, it's lashing down in Preston yet again and probably this is the next best thing to an arc that you could have at the moment it's gonna get you anywhere and everywhere I don't think this is leather um, I think it's probably some kind of man-made leather but it's, uh, it's it certainly looks like it it may it may well be uh, contrast stitching it's really really nice it's if you if you were if you just got in this if you're blindfolded you'd well if you took the number plates off not if you were blindfolded you would get in this vehicle and think it's a new one and um, just at the moment we're uh, the, there's a, a little bit of a change going on with auto trader and they're changing to the search by relevance instead of cheapest first which is fantastic we've always said that because our cars won't be the cheapest but they will be the best um, and the usual thing nice cars aren't cheap and cheap cheap cars aren't nice now that was going to be great for us However, I believe now that they're going to put a price marker of high price on, but they cannot know what a high price is. If I'm prepared to pay more than somebody else to get a nicer vehicle, that's not a high price, that is market value. Now, we will never be able to sell cars cheap. We, try and, we work on, off very small margins, and that's the only way we can compete because we buy proper cars. We can sleep at night. We, uh, we we sell proper stuff that we can stand behind, not not stuff that's rolled in glitter, for want of a better word. So this, I'm I'm pretty sure there won't be another vehicle like this on the market. Um, it is fantastic value for money, especially if you're VAT registered. It's uh, it's for for nothing. Nice and great ride. Um, let's see so we've got audio streaming we've got CD radio sat nav heated seats heated steering wheel aircon 
or auto air com. Just uh, whip that down a little bit. Oh, heated screen as well. We, um, Horatio Kane on the way somewhere there. On, on Twitter the other day, I was going on about, oh, it's got start stop as well. I don't, I don't like that. See, that, that's cut me up from moving off. Start stop is the stupidest idea since digital service history. And nobody can say it isn't. I, I would have moved off there and gone across a roundabout, but uh, I didn't know whether it was going to start. <laughs> Stupid. So. Bags of room in the back, whatever you're carrying, whether it be uh, you, your sheep dogs or gun dogs or, or whatever, or just, just work tools. If you work on a building site or, or anywhere hard to get to. But as, as I say, I, I, if I lived out in the country, this would be ideal for me. You could just chuck everything in the back and you've got a nice, neat, that stop start is just, Stop start, where's the where's the switch for it? I didn't know it had stop start, I've gotta be honest. Eco, stop, start, off. That's the button you need. Knock that, stop, start, off. So th this is an ideal day anyway to, to demonstrate this vehicle. But, uh, oh sorry, I'm getting back to the Twitter. The, the best accessories ever. And somebody said the, the preheater, the, you know, to warm the car up, Land Rovers do that. Um, however, once you're inside, the preheat is no good, but your heated steering wheel and your heated seats on a day like this, and also this has got the heated front screen, so it, it's while everybody else is flipping, scraping the ice off the screen outside, you, you're sat here holding your, in your heated seats with your he, heated steering wheel. It, uh, it really is a good car, even, I mean, even Meridian speakers, so the, the sound's extremely good. Um, let's, I'm not sure, again, whether it'll work. Um, hey Siri, play Wish You Were Here. Okay, playing Pink Floyd. Wish you were here by Pink Floyd. We'll just put the uh, cruise control on. So one touch cruise. Just increase the speed a little bit there to 70. Horrid weather. So 70 miles an hour there or thereabouts, doing 1500 revs. Just have to slow down because we're going there. And I'll turn this up. So, audio streaming as I say, electric windows, remote central locking, we've got your global locking switch here, and it, really speaking, on days like this, if you look outside, it's, see those cars in front, you see where the sprays are up to, and it's bad enough in here, you can't see, but I can assure you, if you're in one of those, see, if you're in one of those, you can't see at all. I 
And uh, I, I don't like doing that, but I, I was just going to pull in when that other guy pulled out and you end up pulling in front of somebody else and uh, then of course they can't see because of the spray. But just look at the spray behind here. Oh, and he's, he's coming this way now. Thank I just don't know what he's doing. I'm certainly not going to uh, get anywhere near him. So you, you sat up here, you're way off the ground. We're above all the spray, everybody else is struggling. It's it's actually nastier or will be nastier than it looks like it is on camera because the, the camera cuts most of it out. It's awful, but I, I, I just drive all day in this. It's, it's lovely. Very, very quiet too. You've not got the normal drumming from the back that you get with a van that hasn't got a solid bulkhead. And uh, the, the, the one thing, uh, solid bulkheads are, are okay, unless, of course, it's your dog or something. Oh, God, look at that. What a sir. What an absolute. It's a, I tell you what, it's a shame I can't get his registration number because I'd report him. That could have caused a very, very bad accident. Just uh, really, really nice to drive. They've also got a great turning circle these as well for the size of them. Um, I forgot to show you the reversing camera as well. The problem is when I when I like driving something, I, I forget to uh, point stuff out. Good display here. We've got paddle shift. The cruise is on the left there, your phone controls are on the right, your heated steering wheel switch is there, indicators left, wipers right. and made for roads like this, of course. Quite a bumpy road, this. Quite often, a bit of pooling, flooding on the road, and usually with the farmers, plenty of mud. There we go, look at that, it's just... made for roads like this. See over the hedges. Get over there, for goodness sake. Crikey. I don't know, they're all out today, they really are. And meet Sue is hanging back, the offending farmers in front there, spraying crap all over the road. <laughs> right, so it looks like we're going to be stuck behind the, the tractor, so I'll finish the test drive here. Great vehicle, not very many of these, and even if you see another one, I can tell you it's not going to be as clean as this. This is absolutely beautiful, it really is. You, you could buy this to use every day. Um, and from the outside, of course, it doesn't look like a, a commercial, doesn't look like a van, it just looks like a discovery um, with rear privacy glass. So um, our website, ggcars.co.uk, we've got a web store on there as well. Got just about everything for the motorist and uh, fashion stuff too. 
get tires, you can get an insurance quote, you can get, you can arrange finance. There's everything there that you need. You can get valuation, you can get valuation off us. We're very short of cars at the moment. So if you do go to part exchange, it'll give you an indication how much, it, much it's worth. I can't promise we will buy it. We are very, very choosy what we buy for stock. Um, but there's also a link to We Buy Any Car, which you can get a price from them as well. And they, they'll, we'll, they'll buy anything, as not just a clever title. Um, so thanks for watching. And uh, I'm not sure what Sue's doing here. Ah, must live down there, that little cottage. But would rather cause an accident before she turns. I'll pull over in a second and show you how to program the sat nav, how to delete a mobile, how to pair a mobile and how to uh, stream audio. Just bad time in there.